Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have a, is it a special video? <laughs> no, it's similar to uh, a lot of my other videos if you've been watching. It is a perfume haul and um, these are all very affordable fragrances that I'm going to be talking about today. Um, some of them are, they're all blind buys, first impressions. I haven't unboxed them yet. They're all in their original boxes. Um, some of them um, are quite popular. Some of them are very unknown. I haven't seen any videos really about them. Um, but I just wanted to share my thoughts and share with you uh, what I got because if anything is really good, I want you to know about it. And especially like when I check out these types of things, I want to I like to see what's on YouTube and reviews and things and people's thoughts. So these are the first two fragrances that I'm going to start talking to you about. Um, as you can see, this is the very popular Miami Glow from JLo. And this is one that's kind of unknown to me at least. And this is from Mark or Avon. And this is from their Self Sanctuary line. This is Kiwi Lotus. So I thought this was really interesting. So I decided to pick it up when I saw it. And I think it was on sale. I'd never buy anything full price from Avon. So when I see something on like a special promo, I definitely grab it. And yeah, let's just jump in right into it. I'm going to start with Miami Glow. Should I start with Miami Glow? Yeah, let's start with Miami Glow. Let's start with Miami Glow. This is Miami Glow. If you watched my most recent perfume review, I actually mentioned Miami Glow and how hard it was to find. And when I found this, I just, I got it. Um, I know some people, this is their signature fragrance. They have tons of backups. They pick these up when they see before. You could find this relatively cheap. I mean, it's still rather inexpensive considering how good it is. But um, when you do find it, it's not. Like I remember this used to be on like the $20 shelf at the drugstore now that's not the case because this is really not hard to find but you can still get it on discount websites i believe i got this for like 30 or 40 dollars so i mean it's gone up in price but it's still affordable i think anything under the 50 dollar mark for a, a for a good perfume is a good price so this is miami glow so let's unbox it together and smell it and see what our initial thoughts are Ooh, so this is what the bottle looks like. I mean, it's cute, but I, I find this kind of cheap looking, but that's just my opinion. Um, there's not, not really much going on. So I hope that juice in there is better because I'm not really a fan of the bottle from first impressions, I'll be honest. Don't come after me if you love this bottle. Um, okay, so let's go ahead and smell it. Spray it and smell it. Spray it on the lit wrist. Oh, okay. This is sweet. It's tropical, coconutty, vanilla. I, I smell a little bit of citrus in there. Okay, so this is like the bottle like I showed you. This came out in 2005 from Caroline Sabaz. And this has top notes of passion fruit, coconut milk, grapefruit, heart notes of orange blossom, cyclamen, heliotrope and base notes of vanilla musk and amber so this actually i think this smells a lot more expensive than i think it's supposed to be um it's funny because caroline sabas is the perfumer behind this she's also the perfumer of a fragrance that came out not too long ago um a very high-end niche luxury fragrance I mean my opinion uh, called Oud Orange Intense from Fragrance de Bois so it's so funny because she's the perfumer behind that scent she's a perfumer behind this one and they honestly they smell so similar to me wow it's like she duped her own fragrance at a much higher price so, I mean, with the popularity of this one, um, that doesn't surprise me. This is, um, it's got a lot of the similar top notes. It's got like that fruity coconut, you know, top notes. The hard notes, I can't really, 
speak to that but now that this is drying down it even smells more like that fragrance Dubois fragrance it's that vanilla musk dry down oh yeah this is nice I totally understand now the popularity behind this and if you ask my opinion I think uh Kellen Sabas duped her own fragrance so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative to Oud Orange Intense from Fragrance Dubois. This is a nice alternative if you can find it. And if you like this one and you're looking for something a little more niche, a little more luxury, give the Fragrance Dubois a chance as well. So that's my first fragrance. And like I said, the next one that I picked up is from Mark Self Sanctuary Kiwi Lotus. So let's go ahead and open that up together. Oh my god this is an interesting bottle looks like this it's a frosted glass very basic but i mean it's cute it's glass um yeah it looks like this so let's go nothing more to really say about that one this is a a clean fresh fragrance uh like i said it's called kiwi lotus this doesn't even have a Fragrantica page I don't think about it but um this smells actually just like a fragrance I reviewed not too long ago from Biotherm called Eau Pure. Eau Pure is still re readily available I'm pretty sure you can get anywhere Biotherm is offered I really like um Eau Pure from Biotherm it's just like this one relatively cheap um this is slightly unisex. This would be a nice after shower fragrance or to freshen up during the day. I could see this being quite nice in the warmer months and also a really good workout fragrance. Um, other than that, I mean, it's it's nice. Like I said, if you like Biotherm Eau Pure, actually this I think might be cheaper definitely and you can get it on sale usually. So if you can get this and you like Eau Pure, you're looking for something similar this might be a nice alternative because i think it's definitely cheaper but it smells really similar to that yeah that's the vibes i'm getting from this one yeah if you know that fragrance that's that one and then the last fragrance i have for you guys today this one again seems similar and you're probably like oh no more i adore this <laughs> fragrance if you watch my other videos you know eden perfumes i am addicted to this house Eden Perfumes, if you haven't watched my other videos, I highly recommend you check them out. They have um, vegan cruelty-free clones, um, higher-end clones of a lot of pretty much every popular design and fragrance as well as like niche luxury fragrances as well. My very first one was um, like a luxury niche one because I thought the price point was really good but now I've kind of expanded into the designer um, side of things and I'm definitely not disappointed, especially with my last purchase. So I decided to give another purchase to see if that last one I got wasn't just like a one-off. So I did pick up a backup of a fragrance I really like and I'll show you that in a second. So the fragrance dupe or clone that I got <laughs> was of my favorite black opium from Yves Saint Laurent. So this, if you, I'm pretty sure I talked about this on my channel before too. I did just get a small 30 milliliter bottle. And as you can see, I mean, can you see how much I've gone through? I mean, I've used a fair chunk of it because I do go through this quite quickly. I feel like black opium is so lovely, but it doesn't last very long considering it's like a, you know, YSL is a, I think, a higher end French brand, but the performance isn't the best on this, but I do love this scent so much. So I decided to give this a go because even if it's the same performance level, um, I didn't want to, I feel like I'm going to run through this bottle pretty quickly. So I decided to just pick up a backup. Um, I don't think I'll be repurchasing anymore. Ah, that's a lie. I probably will, but uh, yeah, I just want to try something different. So let's compare because I'm curious about these two. 
Oh, I have no more wrists. I'll, I'll use my medium on my arms to spray things on. Yeah, and then we'll compare. Okay, so let's spray the original and then the Eden Perfumes version and see what we think. So I'll spray it here. Mm, lovely. So for those of you that don't know, Black Opium, it's a vanilla, coffee, sweet, warm and spicy fragrance. Perfect for colder months. But you know what? I wear this in the evening time during warmer months as well. Yeah. Okay, and then let's go ahead and spray. Well, I'll show you the bottle first. I mean, it's nothing special. It looks like this. All the bottles, I think, look like this, if I'm not mistaken. Let's go ahead and spray that on the other arm. Oh, exactly the same. Yeah, exactly the same. And so far, oh, the other two I've had experiences with, very good performance. So um, I, I really do think that they use very high quality ingredients for not such a high end price. So I highly encourage you to check them out, um, especially if you're in the UK, they're out of the UK. But I know if you're, for example, in Canada, Okja, I want to say is Canadian. I'm not sure, but um, oil perfumer, are they Canadian as well? I'm not sure, but they're they're along the similar lines where they're like um, like a clone house of, of popular and niche designer kind of fragrances, uh, luxury as well, and they make uh, you know their own high quality versions of these fragrances. But yeah, so that's pretty much you know the fragrances that I picked up. Um, I'm pretty happy with the three. They're all quite different. Um, please comment down below what you think of these fragrances. And if you have any suggestions for me, what your scents of the day are, those types of things I love to know about. And what else do I have to say, really? I'm not sure what my next fragrance purchase should be. Definitely comment down below if you have suggestions for me. Because I'm always looking to expand my collection. And, um... Yeah, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, share, and thanks for watching. Stay safe, everyone.